Hey everybody, I um, wanted to do a real quick video and address uh, some concerns and a few myths that have been floating around a little bit about the Mark 11. Uh, now this is a discontinued model, um, I've made these for a couple of years, um, but the Mark 11 is kind of the final rendition of the Mark 10. Um, it was designed as kind of a, an addendum, um, kind of a half model above the Mark 10. Um, the idea was I wanted to give myself a little more canvas to work with Mokutai, um, and so I, you know, I had the Mark 11, which is a straight up frame lock, uh, versus the Mark 10, and it's significantly different on the inside as far as the way the mechanics work, so I gave it its own model designation, but I think maybe four of these left the shop. It really is, is only a handful of them, um, but uh, there have been a few rumors floating around a little bit about it, and one particular customer who I want to just address uh, directly, um, who had made some claims about my customer service with regards to repairs of, of this particular model. Now, um, I wanted to address the sort of uh, factual issues with regards to the way that the knife is constructed first. Um, there was one claim that was made uh, regarding my frames and that they would crack because uh, the frames are not cut out with a ball-in mill. Well, surprise, surprise, every one of them was cut with a ball-in mill. Um, they kind of look like maybe they're square cut because of the way that it ends on the frame, but believe it or not, it's actually a ball-in mill. You can see the little uh, rolled edges down there at the bottom of that uh, cut for the lock bar relief. Uh, that is a ball-in mill cut. Um, secondly, I've never had a single Mark 11 frame crack, um, never been a problem. And if it had been a problem, I'd replace it free of charge. Um, regarding the screws in the rear, uh, there had been a claim that uh, I had left out screws uh, because of some nefarious intent, um, you know, either that I was negligent or like I was just that cheap, I guess, but no, uh, that's not the case. Um, that particular Mark 11 uh, in question that had raised this issue um, was a Warncliffe, and so I grabbed a Warncliffe blade and I put it on here, and you can see what the problem is. If you take a Warncliffe blade and put it on a Mark 11 or a Mark 10 with three screws, you'll actually hit that third screw with the Warncliffe blade and it will damage the blade. Every Warncliffe version of the Mark 10 or Mark 11 only ships with two screws in the back, but it retains that third screw, which is covered up by the pocket clip. Uh, because it is a modular system. I want these to be able to accept whatever kind of blade shape uh, the user so desires, and so I leave the mounting areas there for uh, whatever blade shape we want to put on there. Um, if for some reason down the pipeline you say, I really hate the Warncliffe blade, I want to put a different blade on it, say a Tonto or a Drop Point, that blade kind of swoops up a little bit, and the geometry is a little different in the back end, so it doesn't have this issue. Uh, you can put three screws in the back and hold the thing back together uh, as tightly as you want. But on the Warncliffe version, if you close this especially quickly, you can actually contact that back screw. There's a cutout here in the backspacer to allow clearance for the Warncliffe, and it's usually not an issue if you keep that third screw out. Um, if you put that third screw in, you can get tip damage, which incidentally is one of the reasons why that particular knife had been damaged in the first place. Now. Regarding that exact knife, and the one you guys, if you've seen that video, you know which one I'm talking about. Um, there was a Mark 11 that had been damaged, um, had some locking issues, and so the customer who had owned it, I think maybe fourth hand, um, regarding, he, he basically had decided to send it to a customizer to have it engraved with uh, some pretty obscene things, and uh, it was very upsetting to me to see that uh, on my work. Um, you know, I consider that to be highly insulting. So, um, you know, un unfortunately, he was fairly malicious about the way he went about doing that. Um, you know, I offered that customer five or six times to fix his knife for him. Um, he decided to decline me in the most profane ways possible. Um, you know, at some point with a customer, after you try like multiple times to get them to send a knife in for repairs, uh, you've got to kind of cut your losses. Um, there had been a claim made about my customer service that I had told that particular customer just out the gate to sell his knife. That's not true at all. I did that after engaging him and trying to get him to send his knife in for repair multiple times. Um, like I said, he rebuked me every single time I offered um, and later admitted that he did what he did specifically to troll me. Um, at the end of the day, I find it to be a pretty distasteful way to behave. Um, pretty unacceptable to be frank. Um, you know, that led to a number of, of claims being made about my knife. Now, the lockup, um, you know, that knife had been back to my shop at a couple points, so once for a spa treatment, once because one of the previous owners had put one of these back screws in that third position there and damaged the tip, and so I had to fix that for him. Um, 
However, um, you know, the lockup had, had at some point evidently been damaged. Um, if that customer had sent the knife to me, I would have dropped a new frame on it for him or a new blade on it for him free of charge. Absolutely. Um, you know, that does require you actually getting in contact with me because that particular customer, instead of you know, sending me an email, what he did was tagged me on a negative Instagram post um, and started a fight. And uh, I found that to be, again, like I said, this, it was really not a really great way of going about things. And like I said, after I had offered several times to fix this knife for him on that Instagram post and suspiciously those posts got deleted, um, you know, I, I found out later that he was basically just trying to be a troll. Um, unfortunately, um, that is just the way that it happened. And now we have this, uh, this video. So yeah, uh, no, I mean, this was the way that this knife was designed to be. Um, this is mounting hardware here for other blade shapes. Um, if you don't have a Tonto or a drop point, don't worry about that third hole. Uh, if you've got a worn cliff, it should only have two pieces back here or two screws back there. And uh, no, I've never had a Mark 11 crack, um, and that is cut with a ball-in mill. So, I mean, it's, it's never been an issue. Um, you know, like I said, these knives are pretty darn rare, though, so the likelihood of you encountering one's pretty low. But um, generally speaking, um, you know, like I said, if you've got a problem with your knife, uh, I'll take care of it for you. www.willmooncustomknives.com. Support at willmooncustomknives.com. You're also welcome to message me on Instagram at wmoonknives or get me on Facebook, facebook.com slash willmoonknives. Um, you know, I'm very available, um, generally speaking, and I'll take care of you. Absolutely. And I'll do it free of charge. If it's a warranty issue, um, you know, that's something that I will take care of it free of charge up to and including replacing the knife. If it's totally defective, I'll replace the knife for you free of charge. And that's, if you want another Mark 11, I'll give you another Mark 11. If you want a, a Banshee, something new production, then we can work with that. Um, but generally speaking, um, you know, like I said, it was, uh, some of the issues are basically non-issues. And then, you know, there's also been some, some claims that are just kind of bogus. Um, I do have to kind of, you know, push back on that a little bit. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think it's definitely warranted to defend myself against that kind of stuff. And unfortunately that's kind of, uh, I, I think it's one of the more toxic things that happens in the knife world, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully this clears a few things up though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.